name is Aileen Aiden, and today I will be interviewing Ms. Ada. And I'm Mrs. Ada, I'm a first grade teacher at the Teddy. So Ms. Ada, what's your favorite part of teaching at the Teddy? There's so many things I love about the Teddy. Obviously, I love the children. Um, also, too, I've worked here for so long, so the Tenny is like a second home to me. Um, a lot of my friends are here, and they've become part of my family. So what made you get into teaching? When I was um, a teenager, I was about 15, I used to work at a daycare, similar to Rangers Club, an after-school program, and I loved working with kids. Um, I knew that someday I wanted to help children in some capacity, and I love teaching. If you wanted your students to remember you when you grow up, what would you want them to remember you by? I want, I want them to remember that um, they were in a positive and safe learning environment, um, that we had fun, and um, we had built relationships and friendships over the years, and that they mattered to me. What is the tradition you have for your students on the first day of school? So starting school in first grade, there's a lot of anxiety, especially if they didn't go to kindergarten here. So they're meeting kids for the first time, teachers, I'm brand new to them. So we do a lot of getting to know you games, um, extra play time, and also reaching out to parents, seeing what interests the kids have, what they love to do, and really just building foundational relationships with one another. Tell yourself about us, we'd like to know more. So I've been at the Tenney for 22 years. Um, I started here right when I got out of college. I had gone in for a um, undergraduate psychology degree and then I went for my master's at UMass in education. And then um, I started here right away with student teaching. And I got married. I've been married for 16 years to my husband, Al. And I have two children. My son, Brady, is 13. He's in seventh grade. And my daughter, Brianna, is 11. She's in fifth grade. And I have a little Yorkie dog, Boston, who's like another little child at home. Um, some other things I love, I love obviously teaching, but um, being outside, going to the beach, enjoying summer, um, kind of relaxing after the school year because we work so hard. Why are you a good fit at our school? Like I said earlier, um, I've been here for so long, so I feel like building relationships with the staff, um, knowing the administration. Um, I feel like I get along with everyone really well. And I know a lot of the families. So that helps um, with getting to know the kids and understanding a little bit of where they come from. What is your proudest moment? In first grade, I'd say that my proudest moment in the classroom is seeing children read for the first time. Um, they come in, most of them know their letters. Some actually come in reading, but a lot of them, it's building that confidence. And when they learn to read or write for the first time, you just see that little sparkle in their eye and they're so excited and so proud of themselves. What is your proudest moments for your students? There's um, so many things to be proud of, but I think my proudest moment would be seeing how much progress they make in first grade and seeing them read for the first time. A lot of kids come in, they know their sounds, they know their letter sounds. The kindergarten teachers prepare them really well for first grade, but some children have never been to school. So when they learn to read or they read a book for the first time, just seeing their face light up and that sparkle in their eye is so exciting. If you were to have a class pet for your students, what would it be? It would definitely be a dog. I love dogs. Um, like I said earlier, I have a little dog at home, but I just feel dogs are so comforting and therapeutic. And kids just, they sort of gravitate towards kids. So, um, but because of allergies and things like that, we can't, but it would definitely be a dog. How long have you been teaching at the Tenney? I have been teaching here for 22 years. I started here um, finishing up my student teaching in fifth grade. And then I did a program project challenge in upper school for a little while. And then I came over to first grade and I did second grade for one year. So it's been a very long time and I love it. What is your class motto? I think my class motto is don't give up. Um, we, just because you can't or don't understand something right now, you will later on. Um, and if you keep working at it, we talk about stretching our brains and our brains can grow, um, that if you don't give up, eventually you'll get it. And you, if working hard pays off. 
Well, thank you for your time and letting us interview you. Spotlight will be so excited to come out with their new video. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. What is one thing you love about Ms. Adam? Um, she teaches us math and and science and she teaches us about plants. Uh, that she uh, gives the best hugs. Uh, um, that she is um, that she teaches us math and we do science. Hi everyone, today I'm here with Miss Farrell. Hi everyone. Um, she's a fifth grade English teacher. What's your favorite part of this job? My favorite part of this job, that's hard to say. I love teaching and the students, but I would have to say my favorite part of the job is when on Mondays, we do Monday morning meeting. And after the students return over the weekend, they come back and share what they did over the weekend. I, I love hearing doing that. What made you want to start teaching? Well, I've always wanted to be a teacher um, since I was little. I remember um, I was lucky enough actually to have great role models in school. And I remember going home and actually imitating my teachers. And I also had two grandparents that were teachers. That's cool. You wanted your students to remember you when they grew up. What would you want them to remember you by? Um, I definitely want my students to remember how much I believed in them and that they could be their best selves and just how much we laughed and had fun in class. What is a tradition you have for your students on the first day of school? Well, the first days of school, um, we do a lot of team building activities and I truly believe in building that classroom family. So the students do a lot of talking with each other and about themselves and we really get to know each other. I get to know the students on more of a personal level as well, just not as the student in the classroom, but we all are trying to be friends as well. Tell us about yourself. Well, I've been a teacher for about 25 years. I started teaching right out of college in Laredo, Texas. Um, my husband's job brought us down south. We soon realized after a few years how much we missed our family up north. So we moved up north and I taught in Lawrence for several years. Then I went to Haverhill for a few and the rest is history. I've been in Methuen for six years. But not only am I a teacher, I have three beautiful children. I have twins, Jason and Sophia. They're 20 years old and they're sophomores in college. And I also have a younger son, Zach, who's 16 and he's a sophomore in high school. Why are you a good fit for our school? I feel like I'm a good fit for the Tenney because we have the same belief system that um, all kids can be successful and succeed through hard work and perseverance. It's your proudest moment in the classroom. I have to say, uh, my proudest moment in a classroom is when I see my students working on some challenging work and they might be working by themselves or with a partner and they're having a good discussion, learning from each other. They have a good attitude um, and they work through it and they walk away successful. What is your classroom motto? My classroom motto would definitely be kind to each other always, but I always say, I find myself saying, you know, be you, do you, and I have it posted around my room several times. And I just want my students to feel comfortable about just being themselves. If you were to have a class pet, what would it be? My class pet would definitely be a dog. Dogs bring so much joy and happiness into everyone's lives, and they just love you unconditionally. How have you been teaching with the team? I've been teaching at the Tenney for six years. Thank you for letting me interview you. Do you have anything else to say? Well, thank you for interviewing me. I feel this is quite an honor. And I just want to say what a wonderful job you all are doing. And I appreciate all your hard work. And it's so nice seeing you again. What is one funny thing Mrs. Farrow has done? Um, so during class, she'd be saying something like extremely important or like a very important lesson and all of a sudden her um, watch would go off and be like, and say, I sorry, I don't under I don't quite understand and all the entire class would be bursting out laughing. 
so that made my class time just that much more better. Um, so one class, it was like in like September when it was a little hot out and we had some of the windows open. She was saying something very important next to her desk and she was being very serious until all of a sudden she screamed and everyone was like, oh my God, what? And she goes, there's a bug. Someone needs to kill it. The whole class started bursting out laughing. Miss Farrow was like crying that, kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh my God, there's a bug. And she was just being so funny and it made my day so much. One funny thing Miss Farrow has done was at the ending of last year, we remember all throughout the year, she had promised us by the end of the year, she would hit the gritty. And at, on the last day of school, we formed a circle and we were just doing a bunch of dances and she actually did it. <laughs> Um, the one funny thing that Ms. Farrell has done is that this there's a kid in my class who was sick for a couple of days and he was right next to her and he coughed. I'm Sarah E and this is Miss Callagy who's retiring next year. So we decided to interview her. First question, <laughs> what is your favorite activity or a game? My favorite activity is actually called Stepping Stones, and all of my students have done that over the years. And it's the most challenging one because no one has ever done it before. Um, they're forced to use a lot of critical thinking and problem solving and have to work very, very closely with each other and communicate. And you watch the frustration, and then you watch them evolve, and you watch them become masters of the game, and it's pretty incredible. Personally, my favorite is mat ball because, <laughs> you know, everyone's like participating and True. it's really fun. I love mat ball too. It's one of my favorites. It's, I have so many favorites, I can't even tell you which is my absolute favorite. So I love mat ball too. It's so fun to play with you kids. Question, when you were in middle school, did you like gym class? Yes, I did. I loved it. Although I have to say I was very, very shy and it was really helpful to me to have a really good PE teacher. Third question, if you could teach any other special or subject, what would you choose? Well, I'm also certified to teach health, uh, but I actually think I would choose to teach history. I love history. I love knowing about the past. I love thinking about what's happening in the future, and that would be my favorite. I didn't expect that. I know. <laughs> or, what are some activities you like doing that do not relate to physical fitness? That's a hard one for me. I love a lot of things that are physical. I love to hike. I love to camp. Um, but I do love to read, I do love to play games, I love to do puzzles, um, but mostly I love the outdoors, anything outdoors, kayaking. So I know it's all physical, but that's who I am. That makes sense. What was it like teaching gym class remotely? It was hard, really hard. First of all, I'm not very good at technology. I had to learn a lot about technology. Um, after we got used to it, I actually learned how to do it. I worked on my deck. I worked outside, I had my son come and help video different clips for him with me. Um, I worked in a very small space, though I needed more space. Uh, but it was fun watching Mr. Hajj on the other side with his little son jumping in the background. Uh, but we made it work, we made it work. Honestly, and the kids were great, I was surprised. Honestly, I didn't really like it because I would rather like be here and do all the physical stuff. I totally agree, it was, it, it was hard. It was very hard, but we did it. So have you always wanted to be a teacher? Did you consider other things? No, I did not always want to be a teacher. In fact, I had no intention of being a teacher at all. I went to hairdressing school. I became a hairdresser first, and then I went back to college, and uh, fortunately, was very blessed to be able to be here as a teacher now. I love it. I'm glad I did what I do, but I actually worked as a hairdresser for a long time first. I guess I'd like you all to know that one of the reasons after I finally went back to college to become a teacher, my inspiration was my middle school PE teacher who dragged me around telling me I was really good at things. Never did I agree with her. I was painfully shy and she was really the one who gave me the gift to be a teacher and I will forever be thankful to her. And I love teaching all of you kids and I am definitely going to miss you when I retire. That's sweet. 
And of course, I have to introduce my fabulous partner, Mr. Hajj, who has to end this with the fabulous joke of the day. Why did the orange fall? Why did the orange fall asleep in class? Because he ran out of juice. Yeah. And there we go. <laughs>